Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Bob Warden and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Games Workshop's new release of their um, Primaris Apothecary, a really cool miniature, it's around about the 20 £2.50 pound mark or something like that. Um, so let's just open it up, nice little bit of box art on the back. Um, it does show you all sorts of um, lovely little bits of detail for, for the actual miniature and everything all nicely painted up. Um, we'll just open this up and inside what we will find to start off with is we've got some instructions, we've got two screws, we've got a base and some decals quick look at our decals just here um they are upside down to start with um they are the ultramarines but um you know hopefully you can sort of agree you know they're going to be um you know rather cool these do go on rather nicely um i i do tend to use like the mr mark range but you could probably go away with um, s um the um, salt and set if you want to go down that route um, but they are well detailed and in registry and then um, what we have with our first sprue is, hopefully you can agree, we've got some lovely detail for a base here, which is supposed to represent him like putting his foot on him and ripping out his gene seed. Um, looking at the rest of the model, it's you know got some really good detail, um, you know, recessed areas, rivet areas, um, you know, the plastic's looking nicely sort of smooth uh, in areas. It's not like deformed or rough. Usual sort of backpack, we've got his um, head with helmet on just here, bring you in a little bit closer, um, which has got some nice little bits of detail on there. Right, we've even also got a head without the helmet, which we can nicely see, um, eyes, mouth, nose, um, all those lovely bits of detail. Turning it over, um, we've got his um, weapon just here, and um, flash-wise, I mean, yeah, we've got like a little bit of sort of flash around it, which is kind of expected really, really but it is kind of light, um, um, so just a little bit of sort of, you know, getting rid of those um, seam lines um, should be no problem at all. We've got the um, his um, shoulder pads here, and then we've got all sorts of little you know bits of the medical equipment stuff that goes on the backpack, which is looking well detailed, um, nice and crisp, and no issues with that. Um, we do have him holding here um, the gene seed just in his hand just there, um, and then he's also got this other um, weapon option as well. Um, um, pistol wise then a quick look at the instructions um, with the instructions let's just zoom you out there's a nice little booklet here which you know we've got a um, nice bit of pictures on the front we then have this nice new sort of color scheme which is rather cool where it sort of shows you where everything's going and makes it a bit more clearer of how it's all uh, built together it does show you options for um, which weapons to pick and even some of the medical equipment we've got some sort of options there uh, but apart from that it doesn't show you any sort of different poses um, with this model you're probably going to have to play around with it a bit if you want to sort of give it different poses or maybe buy a second one or something like that um, it does look like you can move um, his arms and stuff in different ways in his head and stuff uh, but apart from that you're going to probably have to do a bit of scratch building to really sort of change his pose um, then we have um, some stats with this this one I mean he's got some nice standard sort of stats um, his pistols you know are sort of you know upgraded normal sort of um, bolt pistols um, but apart from that his real ability is um, his sort of um, what he does on the battlefield which is a special ability which allows him to um, Basically, if he's within three inches of an infantry or a bike model, he can um, um, restore D3 wounds to that model, or he can, on a 4+, plus, revive a single slain model, um, which is 
rather rather cool ability to have if you put him behind one of your sort of special units uh, and you can just keep bringing them back which is rather cool so that's everything let's get it built and see what it's like built and how it builds together and so here it is all nicely built up. In all honesty, the instructions were very easy to follow and um, it was very easy to build. There was no sort of fit issues or problems um, except for it is rather, rather delicate. Um, for instance, we have, and it's actually starting to come off again, this little piece here. I mean, that has broken off. I've had to glue that into place because um, the problem is you've got pieces left over from the sprue that you need to cut off and sand down and all this kind of stuff. Um, and it is really, really sort of delicate. Same up here. Um, I had a bit of sprue that I had to cut off here on this little handle on its surgical light. Um, and that broke off also. Um, this is a very delicate piece that you really sort of need to be careful when um, getting rid of all your seam lines and, and, and cutting off any bits of leftover sprue. But apart from that, it does go together really well and it does look uh, rather amazing actually I mean it looks a lot better than the box art in all honesty when it's in person um, um, there's so much detail around it so it is a definite uh, really big thumbs up for um, the Primaris uh, Apothecary uh, from Games Workshop so yeah absolutely fantastic well recommended um, so until next time my name is by Warden's Models and I hope you've enjoyed